So, short answer is organizations in Pittsburgh who serve youth ages 13 to 24. Kids can sign up for the LRNG platform if they are 13 and older. Um, some organizations with kids under 13 can use the platform in special cases. The special cases are if we have parental permission, specific parental permission on file at another institution like Pittsburgh, like Pittsburgh Public Schools, Summer Dreamers. If the kids who are participating in Summer Dreamers have already been, have already got uh, permission slips on file from their parents, we can use the LRNG platform to issue them badges. So if you're an activity partner for Summer Dreamers this summer, you can still do badges through Summer Dreamers. Um, if you do have programs for students under 13 outside of that, um, let's talk about it because there are, there are options. The other thing is we're very sensitive to the fact that uh, this is not the only badging game in town. Like there are other badging tools that you can use for things. It may be the case that if you are doing programming with kids who are six, seven, eight, nine, that this might not actually be the best tool for them. Um, so let's talk about it. If you have questions, happy to help. Totally, let's talk about it. When can I start using the platform? I have your usernames and your passwords ready to go. I'm working on the smartest way to give that to you. The idea is that at the second round of these trainings, which is going to be on April 26th and 28th, so later this month, um, I will email you in advance and you'll have all the information that you need to uh, really efficiently and effectively get on the platform and start creating content. Um, if you have not issued badges in the past, I can also get you access by that time. So that's going to be, I'm going to send an email after this training today um, with a variety of ways to get in touch with me and to update information about how we can go forward um, with helping you get on the platform. So that will come next. Throughout, my name is your main point of contact on all of this stuff. Trisha with a C like Liza with a Z at sproutfund.org. So that's me if you have questions. Thank you. I got the smile on it. It works. All right. So next question. How do kids sign up for the platform? Kids right now can go to lrng.org slash register and they can start enrolling. Um, it's not a whole, there's not a whole ton of information on the site yet um, because you guys are the people who have the programs in the city of Pittsburgh that kids could be able to find. So they can go on there and sign up if they want to, um, but I think it's gonna be smart for us to start driving kids to that website a little bit later on once there's things for them to discover and find. Um, additionally, there is a system that we're working on to enroll large groups of students, like kids participating in Summer Dreamers, um, kids in other programs, that you've got 150 children to sign up and you don't want to spend time in your limited after school program or limited time in whatever program you have over the summer. Um, you don't want to spend the whole time like data entering every child into it. So that's going to be something that we have access to in June. So talk to me if you have questions about that and we can help that get set up too. Okay. Here's another thing. So I've worked with many of you last summer as a member of the help desk team for Summer of Learning, in, or for City of Learning in 2016, 2015. In 2016, Sprout is still gonna offer some help. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly what we're doing now. So training and assistance with content development and also some marketing and promotional support. That's things like using our existing website, our social media channels, um, to talk about the great work that's going on through City of Learning this summer. Um, and so it's gonna be really important for